motherfucking intel, all like Billy the Kid and shit rolling up, give me all your money, and I'm like, with pleasure, please take all of my cash, because I want the Intel compute stick like no other. Considering the fact that I was already in the market to go and get a Chromecast, because I like the idea of just having something that's the size of like a, a little fucking tampon jammed into the side of my TV, hanging out of a fucking, um, an HDMI port, that made me happy, because I'm like, oh shit, I'm, WWE Network, Netflix, fucking Hulu, and all the other happy horse shit. That stuff is pretty fucking rad. Well, this is taking that idea and then running with it because it's a fully realized Windows PC experience just jammed into, no lubricant required, into your HDMI port on your display. That is fucking bitching right there. So you'll get a full version of Windows yeah, two gigabytes of RAM. This is running an Intel Atom processor. It's got 32 gigabytes of storage on it, which you already know some of that's going to be eaten up with the, um, the actual operating system and stuff. This has got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It's got a full uh, USB port on it, and it's got a slot for micro USD, uh, uh, micro USB. Jeez, uh, just blah, blah 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 words and shit. But you you get the idea. So. We have expandable storage options on there. I mean, you can go and get a micro uh, micro SD card for what, a uh, hundred bucks, and you'd be able to get 128 gigabytes out of something like that. You could probably get it for like 80 or 90 technically if they're on sale, but able to go and get something like that. The the USB port. I mean, get a USB splitter right there. You'd be able to get like four extra USB ports and get a whole bunch of shit on there. And granted, something like this isn't exactly built for gaming. You know, you're you're not going to have some kind of powerhouse PC experience. Uh, something that's like that fucking tiny. Like like I said, this is Tampax size. So. Considering all that, I mean, you, you technically you could. You could go and emulate Living Chef. You can go and get SNES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, all sorts of different emulators and run them on this and with without a shadow of a doubt. I already know that because this has specs a little bit better than some tablets I've seen, and those have fully realized many of those emulation options. And then there's just plenty of old school, you know, DOS games out there. All those uh, DOS games that are actually available online that you can just access via your uh, your browser. Well, there you go. You'd be able to go and do do that without even fucking having to break a sweat. So that, that's pretty badass. But this, I think about all the different things that you can do with this. I mean, for it's 150 bones. So you're not dropping much loot for shit like this. And Considering the market that, you know, the market for this, most of those streaming USB sticks uh, from Amazon, Roku, uh, Chromecast, and all that shit, they're about 30 bucks. Now, you know, by comparison, it's a whole lot, but think about the, the bevy of options that you have available by comparison. I mean, you literally could use something like this for school, for work, for, you know, just personal use, whatever. You know, you'd be able to go and play games on there. You'd be able to go and type up text documents. You'd be able to go and edit photos. You'd be able to go and, and technically you'd be able to edit video. It's not going to be fast whatsoever, but you technically could. So the idea that it could be done is speaks volumes. You know, it just think about all the practical uses for something like this on professional and not so professional levels and it's only $150, and the even cooler part about it, if you said, you know, I really don't want to have anything to fucking do with Windows 8.1, and I can go and suck a big fat fucking barrel of dicks, well, it also comes in a flavor of Linux. So anybody out there that's all about Linux, which I haven't used Linux since, fuck, since the 90s? So it's been a long time for me. I'm, I'm pretty much just way too used to the PC experience. But the idea that they are giving you an option, and on top of that, I think the Linux one is about $90. So it's $60 cheaper for the alternative operating system that there's a lot of people out there within the market as consumers that love that operating system. That's fucking crazy to think about. And then think about all the different things out there that this can be used for within the work field. Just to imagine in school, you know, they just basically have a display in front of every single seat and, you know, th this essentially is your compute stick would be what you take with you everywhere and it fits in your pocket. I mean, you could shove one of these into your fucking wallet, you know, and 
this is what I've been waiting for ever since they showed off things like the Roku and the, uh, the Chromecast and all that. I had wondered when is this going to happen? I mean, it's the it's size of a fucking flash drive. You know, I, I was wondering when are we going to get the fully realized computing experience and now it's here. And granted, I already know 32 gigabytes is not all that much storage. Granted, it's expandable, but still. And I already know that, you know, the processor on it's not going to be that great. The graphics are, are not going to be all that great. And you know, your options are limited for something like this, but you, you also have to understand of the size of this. And this is technically fresh. You know, years down the road, we're gonna have one of these, uh, it's gonna be pushing, you know, 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's gonna have, a, you know, a GTX graphics card inside of it that's gonna be fucking mind blowing because technology such as this moves fast as fuck. And it also makes me kind of curious, considering the fact that we have Linux and we have Windows, is Apple going and keeping an eye on this? Because I, they have a very large install base, and you know their market share has grown and at enormously over the years. So something like this, I can imagine a lot of people within their fan base would be interested in an item like that. So it makes me wonder: is Apple going to end up coming out with something like this, or will Intel introduce an Apple version of it? I know that uh, the folks at Apple technically like to go and have their own display, own keyboards, own, you know, they, they want everything pretty much in-house, and it's all their shit. But something like this, it's hard to argue. Why, why not fucking do it? I mean, they have the Apple TV, so this would be a step in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you and just imagine, and that's something else I'd even consider. You can go and have iTunes on there. I'm pretty sure you could probably run Steam on something like this and just run really low-end games on it. The fact that that's even possible is fucking psychotic to me. I'm just I'm like, yeah, that's that's nutty. It is. You know, I'm 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 a fucking tech geek like anybody else out there. But this is something that would work for me. I have a little mini tower PC up in my bedroom that uh, movies, TV shows, games, music, you name it. I have it up there just because my main desktop is down here, you know, the, the powerhouse fucking gaming PC and all that shit. So that's my main workhorse PC that's hooked up to my TV because to me, all, all computers should be hooked up to your main television and it just makes way more sense. Big ass fucking display shit. Yeah, that's the way you want to experience it. But this is something you can take from place to place to place to place. And there's so many times that I've had to go and take a, my flash drive, 64 gigabyte little sand disk, take it into a friend's house, you know, whatever it is I'm trying to go and move from place to place, that's what I'm taking with me. Now I'd be able to take the entire PC with me. And I'm just, I, I want to see this fully realized. You know, the, the fact that it's got Bluetooth, think about the amount of different things that you'd be able to use in conjunction with this. I mean, you wouldn't even need a keyboard or mouse setup. You'd be able to get a tablet or you'd be able to use your smartphone to go and control 90% of the shit on there. You know, that right there is really fucking sweet. You'd be able to go and get a, a wireless mouse and keyboard setup and have a fully realized computer on there. And that's just, god damn, that's fucking cool. I love that so much, I can't wait for this to come out. I know that they had said with an article that there was uh, some some kind of knockoff versions of this that were available right now that didn't have Windows installed on them. So they said that's kind of a gamble technically, but I'd rather just wait for this version because at least I, I can go knocking on their fucking door and be like, yeah, this shit doesn't work, uh, give me another, that, that'd be nice. Need my fix, man, <laughs> start, start scratching shit like, Intel, do you got, you got that shit I need? So in considering that most people associate Intel with some of the best processors out there that you can get for uh, a PC building and stuff, this is just another thing to add to their catalog of must-have items, and it makes me pretty fucking happy. So, and it's something I thought would be noteworthy to go and share with everyone out there because, well, I don't get to talk about tech a whole lot on here outside of just, you know, random gaming shit, but this is something that I definitely want to get at some point. So, down in the description, I'm going to leave links so you can read every single little minor detail about it if you have any questions, obviously. It'll be detailed there if I didn't cover it here in this video. So, opinions and thoughts on this? Something for you? Would you rather just wait until it gets a little bit better, or is this a bandwagon you'd want to jump on immediately? Would you rather just go with something like the Chromecast or the Fire Stick or the Roku or whatever, because your streaming needs really don't exceed anything beyond just wanting to go and watch Netflix or listen to music or whatever it is that you plan on going and streaming. But regardless, I thought, you know, 
Hell, why not? We can go and chatter about it. Chat, 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 chat. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. Woo.